Hey, what's up, everybody? StarCraft2488 here with the hybrid video. Alright, so I've been getting a lot of questions about if I put this turtle in with this turtle, can they breed? Like putting a diamond back with a red eared slider. If they were to breed, would I get babies from them? Hmm, probably looks a little bit bigger compared to the last time that you saw my diamond back. Just wanted to show that. So to answer that question, it's a yes for certain classifications. Basically, painted red-eared sliders, uh, red-bellied turtles, cooters, chicken turtles, they're all in a real close ca classification, oh, and map turtles, they all have a chance to breed together, but it's almost slim, that it's all, it's none, it's basically so rare that it were to happen, it's unbelievable, so if you really wanted a map slash red-eared slider, chances of you getting it are basically none, if you're really lucky, you might get it. And that only happens in really big, like, breeding companies. That's why, you, if you ever see them, that's where they come from. But something a little closer to hybrids, which are more common, if you go down a step in the classification, you go, they're each in their own little group. Sliders have their own little group. Painted have their own little group. So, I'm going to start with the painted turtles. Alright, so I do have two hybrid painted turtles. Actually, more than two, but two specific hybrids. So, the two closest related painted turtles are Midland painted turtles and Eastern painted turtles. They, Eastern painted turtles, their plastron is always pure yellow. You get any spot at all, it's going to be, it means that it probably bred with another painted species, most likely. They are so unbelievably close in classification, I mean, related, it's unbelievable. And I don't own a Midland painted turtle, so this is from a magazine. That's what the plastering of a Midland looks like compared to an Eastern Painted. It has a pattern. So, this guy is actually a hybrid. You can see he has just a tiny little bit of pattern, meaning that he, somewhere along the line, got Midland blood mixed with his Eastern Painted Turtle. The bands are usually brighter for an Eastern, so his Eastern blood is very strong in him. Now, I've actually, I've seen, what was it? I've seen a picture of a southern, I think southern western hybrid before. I might have a link to the hybrid southern, but I've only ever seen one picture of a southern hybrid turtle. Alright, so this guy is bright, the really high colored eastern painted turtle that I showed in other videos. And just to show a little shock, he has a tiny little black spot there, so most likely somewhere along the line he does have a tiny hint of midland blood in him. So he is technically not a pure Eastern Painted Turtle, even though his patterns are unbelievable, he's technically a uh, hybrid. Alright, I changed location for better lighting, but you should be able to tell that these guys' shells are really green, and uh, I don't know if you can see that, but 
they have little tiny like intricate lines like right at the side of his shell on the like right there that's usually that's like a western pattern right there but western painted turtles do not have the little spots only eastern do and uh midland painted turtles but uh as if like that one when his neck is extended his spot like goes into a line and that's just an indicator that he has eastern blood in him and but oh, their shells look absolutely like western but if you flip them over it looks it should be really red but i guess yellow and red gets you that kind of orangish look but that's what you get from him Ugh. His pattern would be a little bit better if he was pure Western, but they look really like Western, so I'm interested how these guys turn out. But yes, this I brought one of the. This is a regular Eastern painted turtle. You can tell shell completely yellow. Also, he should look black. A couple of these guys like show that they're a little bit like that guy. He looks more along the lines of the eastern his shell is pretty black except the underside he does have the spot which would be western he really didn't get a pat pattern from the western so the eastern d genetics ran uh one on his case but the other three really have a better green, especially these two. And then they're larger, too. All of them are larger than that eastern hatching, which is would be right, because westerns grow larger. So, these are these guys. That last clip that I just showed you, that was from a month ago, and now their patterns really... Now, the westerns actually are starting to show some eastern in them now. You can see there's little yellow blotches that are going to form the bars on the painted on the that would be on eastern are now appearing on the western. So these guys are just going to be absolutely crazy looking. And then what did I want to say? Uh here's one of the other western hybrids that I showed before. He's getting kind of a bar on him. And then this uh eastern western uh, I don't know. I'm just going to keep s saying between eastern and western. I don't know if you can tell that, but his bar is actually like the lines of a western painted turtle. So I don't know if he's going to be like a like wavy western lines I'm trying to show that See that little line right there on his shell? That's what his bars are on this one. You should be able to see there's some little black in there. I'll take a picture to show you, but absolutely crazy about these guys. Oh, and another note. I am not sure, but these possibly... I don't know the range of of the west of the painted turtles uh like how they overlap or whatnot but eastern and western i think they're complete opposite these very maybe are like few and the maybe like could be maybe the i don't know i don't want to say it's the first they're probably not the first but these guys are probably some of the rarest hybrids are really rare hybrids to see I, I looked on the internet, I could not find a western slash eastern hybrid. So, this is crazy, and they're just, their patterns are wild. So, I'll definitely be showing more of these.